For over 50 years, people have relied on Village Green Apothecary to give them individualized nutrition, pharmacy, and healthy living products. Village Green provides you with the kind of personalized help and attention that mass market pharmacies have long ago forgotten. You can depend on us for knowledge, experience, product selection, customer service, and a smile. Visit Village Green in Bethesda at 5415 West Cedar Lane or call us at 301-530-0800 or go to our website at myvillagegreen.com. We're here to help you. Welcome listeners to the Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM brought to you by the Village Green Apothecary located at 5415 West Cedar Lane in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm Dana Lake alternating the show with Dr. Kevin Passaro and we try to bring you a wide variety of really good information all about you and your health. Now the show is streamed through myvillagegreen.com. That's myvillagegreen.com. And this is a reminder that Village Green is your resource for questions about your health via the website and the store on Cedar Lane. They do carry superior supplements from many manufacturers, including their own Pathway products. Now, we're here every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Please tune in next Sunday for Kevin's discussion on epigenetics, a new subject, a relatively new subject, and one that we like to bring up. It's very important. Now, today our guest will be Amber Lynn Vizzi, and she's a certified nutritionist in integrative nutrition, and our subject will cover some of the new supplements from Garden of Life. But before we have our guest... I want to go over news you can use. We do this every once in a while. I want to go over why the Institute of Medicine reversed their dietary advice on trans fats, cholesterol, eggs, salt, and sugars. And this happened at the end of 2015. It was a big, big change. The U.S. government recommendations about cholesterol, eggs, fats, salt, and sugars reversed the decades of the dietary guidelines for Americans. And according to the USDA scientific report of the 2015 Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee, sugar, refined grains, and hydrogenated oils are now considered the major culprits, and cholesterol, eggs, butter, and salt are back on the table. Why did they do this? I've been making recommendations based on science and based on valid findings, and this has been my career for well over 45 years. It was always a shock to me that the government's recommendations were not able to be validated in in the research. Number one, the research at the time was uh, what the researchers did is they had a narrative, a belief that cholesterol and all fats were bad, that uh, salt was bad, it caused high blood pressure. And using that narrative, they discarded some of the data that went against that narrative. And that's not permitted anymore. In fact, more recently, the researchers are now required to reveal all of their data. That actually was a surprise to me. I wasn't completely aware of how much they could change the way they report their data, whether they're studying a condition, the diet, medications, whatever it is they're studying. They have to reveal all of the data. Otherwise, the conclusions, the recommendations based on the research are based on faulty research. So what happened is the government went back to see if they could validate all of these studies that we hung our hat on in telling people how to eat, what to eat, what to avoid. I wish to say that my handouts have been consistent for over 45 years with regard to the fact that trans fatty acids are the worst fatty acids we can consume that cholesterol is not something you can really control by diet. It's a nutrient. It's produced by the body. It's not the enemy. That eggs are healthy. That salt is not the enemy. That butter can go back on the table. And that sugars are the main problem. 
So let's go over what we what has been emphasized by the Institute of Medicine. And by the way, when the committee met and made this determination, one of the members said, we're really not going to tell the public that the advice we've given them for over 40 years has been wrong. And they said, we have to, because we can't validate that what we've been telling them is right. In fact, heart disease, cancer, and many other conditions took off during the time that we followed the pyramid that suggested eating refined grains as the base of the pyramid. So we've talked about those pyramids. So what's wrong with hydrogenated fatty acids? They're mutant plastic fatty acids. They have no place in human health. In fact, they actually harden cell membranes. And they're far more damaging than any fat, including deep fried foods. Trans fatty acids take the place in the cells where essential fatty acids should reside. This makes the membrane fluidity less fluid. This is huge. And it changes function profoundly. It's well established that trans fatty acids significantly increase risks for cardiovascular disease, inflammation, infertility, fetal uh, complications, poor breast milk quality, cancers, diabetes, neurological disorders, immune disorders, abnormal lipid metabolism, and weight gain. Who brought this to the table? Who told us it was good to use? With the Institute of Shortening and Edible Oils, which I call the Margarine Institute, the FDA, USDA, NIH, National Heart, Lung, Blood Institute, the AMA, American Heart Association, American Dietetic Association, and more, went along with the industry and recommended hydrogenated oils despite the evidence dating back to the 40s and 50s that these were mutant plastic fatty acids and had no place in human consumption. Now, the USDA indicates that avoiding or lowering cholesterol-containing foods will not lower the serum levels because they're regulated by homeostasis. And we talk about this all the time, that the reason it's hard to create toxicities with nutrients is that the body regulates. So if if you don't make enough cholesterol... If, if you don't eat enough cholesterol, the body makes more. If you eat cholesterol, the body makes less. So now the, the USDA says it, it's not useful to reduce cholesterol, and cholesterol is not the cause of heart attacks. And when cholesterol levels are medically treated to levels below 160, there is an increased risk for bleeding, strokes, depression, and suicides. And why suicides? Cholesterol is essential to serotonin metabolism. So when we artificially lower it, we can increase the risk for depression, mood disorders. Cholesterol is necessary for life, brain and nerve structure and function. And it's a precursor to reproductive hormones and vitamin D. It serves as the bricks in the cell membrane and is essential to their structure. So there's no reason, says the USDA the Inst- and the Institute of Medicine, to limit cholesterol to 300 milligrams a day. There was never any data in any research that indicated that was healthful or helpful. In fact, countries that have higher cholesterol intakes via eggs uh, and other foods had lower cardiovascular disease. So the available evidence now shows no appreciable relationship between consumption of dietary cholesterol and serum cholesterol levels. So eggs, throughout the world, egg consumption is not associated with heart disease. The opposite is true. And eggs do not need to be limited for the vast majority of those with cardiovascular disease. They are a low-calorie food, rich in the highest quality protein, trace nutrients, and healthy fats. They increase HDLs and are considered a high-quality functional food. Eggs are back in because they improve lipid numbers, especially raising good HDL. 
And egg intake is actually associated with increased HDL levels and reduced risk for cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's. Salt. The intake of salt throughout the world varies significantly. And this was actually a new finding. What do I mean by that? It can go from low to high. However, the body's regulation of the intake of salt leaves the serum levels of sodium the same whether it's a low intake society or high intake society of salt. So that is very interesting. And the Institute of uh, Medicine report found insufficient evidence to support restricting sodium consumption below the current recommendation of 2,300 milligrams per day in order to prevent cardiovascular disease in the general population. As stated by the USDA, and I'm quoting, there is no longer any valid basis for the current SALT guidelines. Evidence actually suggests that low sodium intake may lead to higher risk of adverse cardiovascular events. And in spite of this increasing body of evidence, the American Heart Association, Centers for Disease Control, and other public health advisory bodies are fighting this information and trying to stick to the old guidelines that were not based on valid research. And butter is back on the government table. It was replaced with hydrogenated fats, margarines, the most damaging fatty acid to the human body. And so butter is back on the table. Sugars, the new dietary guidelines, finally, from the USDA, are that we should eat less sugar and refined grains. I know you've heard this over and over on the show from me, that refined grains raise blood glucose higher than a teaspoon of sugar. And that is very important because that increases diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, belly fat, and obesity. So what do we avoid? Hydrogenated oils, all artificial sweeteners. They slow down metabolism, leading to increased hunger and weight gain. All artificial additives, flavoring, coloring, preservatives. Use organic. Avoid high fructose corn syrup, even if they change the name of it. You will be able to recognize it. And avoid all sodas, diet and regular. They increase cardiovascular risk. And interesting diet, sodas are worse. Deep fried foods are a huge problem. Stay away from those. And then sugar, caffeine and alcohol should be quite limited. Homogenized skim, low fat milks are to be avoided. And avoid any food to which you have a negative reaction Whatever the reason, if you react poorly, it should be avoided. So I think we've covered a lot of interesting information, and I want you to hang in there with us because in the next segment, we will be talking to Amber Lynn Vizzi about new supplements from Garden of Life, and we'll ask her some nutrition questions. That's going to be an interesting conversation. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back after this brief break. Mega Food Premium Whole Food Supplements are the only supplements crafted from scratch with farm fresh whole foods to deliver nourishment the way nature intended. Mega Food believes Mother Nature knows best. They select only fresh whole food, harvested at the peak of ripeness, handle it gently and with care to deliver its vital essence to you in every bottle. Mega Food, from farm to tablet. Our name is our promise. For more information, visit us online at megafood.com. Zymogen is pleased to announce the arrival of Fit Food, a delicious, high-quality, functional food that's formulated to support weight management, healthy body composition, glycemic management, cardiovascular and immune health, and more. Each delicious serving of Fit Food contains 21 grams of pure New Zealand-sourced bioactive whey protein, 6 grams of fiber-immune-supporting oat beta-glucan, and additional glutamine, glycine, taurine, and MCTs. Fit Food provides holistic support for today's active body. Learn more at Zymogen.com. Available now through your healthcare professional and Village Green Apothecary. 
All over the world, people are beginning to discover fish oil is one of the best secrets for unlocking great health. Thousands of studies have shown the amazing effects of these powerful omega-3s for heart health. Plus, fish oils have even been shown to balance moods and lessen anxiety. With exceptional taste, unrivaled freshness, and unsurpassed purity, Nordic Naturals is the easy way to get your omega-3s every day. To learn more, visit Village Green Apothecary or visit NordicNaturals.com. Nordic Naturals, committed to the planet, committed to pure and great tasting omega oils. The brain requires nutrition just like the rest of the body. And this is where Gero Formula's Neuro Optimizer comes to the rescue. Neuro Optimizer is a concentrated source of nutrients needed for memory, mood, concentration, and focus. Neuro Optimizer supplies the building blocks for neurotransmitters, the chemicals that allow cells in the brain to communicate and to file away memories. Neuro Optimizer is the nutritional answer to the brain's needs. To learn more about formulas, visit Gero.com. Gero Formulas, available at Village Green. Apothecary. Want to save money on vitamins, herbal remedies, and other health care needs? Then visit Village Green Apothecary during our big summer sale. Now through July 15th, you'll save 30% on popular Pathway brand nutrition products, 25% on other supplements, and 20% on natural body care products. Visit us at 5415 West Cedar Lane in Bethesda or shop online at myvillagegreen.com. And be sure to catch our top-notch radio show, Essentials of Healthy Living, every Sunday at 10 a.m. here on 1500 a.m. Welcome back, listeners, to the second segment of The Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM. The show is brought to you by Village Green Apothecary at 5415 West Cedar Lane in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm Dana Lake, and I alternate the show with Dr. Kevin Pissarro. We're here every Sunday morning at 10 AM, so please tune in next Sunday for Kevin's discussion on epigenetics, a subject that we like to talk about. It's very important. Now, today our guest is Amber Lynn Vitzi, and she's a certified nutritionist in integrative nutrition. And our subject covers some of the new supplements from Garden of Life. And as you know, they have high-quality supplements, and we look forward to hearing all about it. I want to go over the information about Amber uh, she brings her training in Ayurvedic medicine to the team at Garden of Life. And since her early childhood, she's been fascinated with the power of foods, herbs, and dietary supplements to optimize health. After earning a B.A. in economics and Russian, she went on to pursue this passion. For 16 years, she has worked both in the product retail and maintained her own wellness practice, often working with doctors and alternative medical pro- professionals promoting optimum health inside and out. In the last several years, she has reached a wider of, of audience as a freelance writer for several natural health publications, educating retailers and consumers alike on what quality really means in both foods and products. And Amber is excited to be a member of the Garden of Life education team and continue the mission of empowering extraordinary health. Welcome to the show, Amber. Thank you so much, Dana. It's a pleasure. Well, it's it's nice to talk about Garden of Life today. Uh, give us a little bit of background on the company and the quality because I'm sure that our listeners may not always know this information. Right. Well, this company's been around since 1999. Um, it was, you know, founded by Jordan Rubin, but he's since left the company and is uh, making his own products. But I think we've always been known for very unique formulations that are keeping digestive health at the center of optimum health and for formulations that concentrate all the goodness that is in food. And I, I think as we, as the Consumers of food have become more and more aware of what is in and on our food. For instance, I don't think that most people in the United States knew that since the early 80s, glyphosate was sprayed on their grains and legumes to ripen it, you know, and that's just something we were all exposed to without even realizing it. And as a company, as these things became apparent, our sourcing became more and more stringent and having actual certifications for organic and then further for non-GMO project verification became extremely important. And as we've moved forward, we've pushed for things like non-GMO project verified enzymes used in the processes 
Um, and that's something I don't think most customers realize, that a lot of their enzymes and their products are made through genetically engineered means. So we're really watching out for all of these things, trying to constantly improve sourcing. And in a global economy, we have to be global. We have to source globally. Only 3 to 4% of all the agriculture in the U.S. is organic compared to in the 20s in Europe and the 30s in Latin America and the 40s in Australia and New Zealand and, and that area. So we, we have to go global in order to have a large enough supply chain that is dual certified or sustainable or working very closely with farmers and creating a better community wherever we're sourcing. Those are our guiding lights. Well, those are important, and I'm, I'm certain that the consumer is not aware of the degree to which there are regulations for supplements and that many companies that produce supplements go above and beyond, like there's no regulation that everything has to be organic. Uh, mm-hmm. So I know Garden of Life goes beyond. Can you talk a little bit more about the fact that the supplement companies are using GMP, the pharmaceutical uh, ways of manufacturing supplements, but how Garden of Life goes beyond that. Right. So, you know, and this is just it. I I know I, I have family members that say, you know, how do you handle the fact that there's absolutely no regulation in the supplement industry? And I just, I, I like, do you spit cringe? My milk out. I, no, I just I like spit out whatever I'm drinking. I like you know because I just I'm like I can't believe that I mean you know when I look at what our company has to do and does and how careful we are to try to make sure that we're up and ahead of all of those 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 you know standards and restrictions and yes it's true that a company could get away with not doing the right thing for a time, but they're not going to be around that long because eventually the FDA is going to get in and inspect and find that there's a problem. So it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay to do it like that. And and the companies that are supplement companies that have been in the news for this kind of a thing, I think just very recently there was something on um, D3 drops for kids being contaminated with a bacterium, for example. I mean, this kind of stuff is like, it's not what we're doing. It's not what our compatriots in the health food stores are doing. The companies that have been around a long time, they don't, they don't do that. They're, they're careful. We have to establish what are called current good manufacturing practices. Each company has to lay out their plan, where they're going to source things from, you know, the standards for that sourcing on product purity, botanical ID, label uh, claims, the, you know, the potency. And you have to follow those GMPs because at some point the FDA is going to come in and inspect. But the companies that go above and beyond literally hire a certification company, typically now NSF, to come in and be the FDA and audit them as the FDA would extra times per year. And so it's I, I liken it for our listeners that, are of my generation before to Peter Sellers as Inspector Clouseau and Pink Panther hired Cato to not only press his suits and bring him tea and shine his shoes, but also to ambush him every time he came home to keep his skills sharp. And, and you know, he hired him. He paid him to attack him, right? So essentially that's what NSF does. They surprise visit uh, manufacturing facilities, farms, headquarters, they go through the CGMPs, they make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do, they give you warnings that you're not, you have a certain period of time to catch up. And so we stay on our toes and we make sure that we're up to speed. And when the FDA changes regulations, for example, the um, recommended daily intakes are changing as of July 2018, the label requirements are changing, and when we hear about something like that, we jump on it immediately. You know, when it becomes important to remark on a product that it might contain certain allergens, now the environment is changing to where even if probiotics or enzymes are grown in a medium that contained a a common allergen, that will have to be claimed. These are changes we will make very early on. We'll either eliminate that potential allergen or it will be on the label you know there's no point in waiting until the last minute there's no point in hiding it there's no point in trying to get around when you're a company of the size and quality that we are we want to be at the front line and doing things right from the get-go and 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 doing things right that we don't even have to do 
Right. And, you know, an example of that is that non GM or sorry, that organic, USDA organic certification, you get that seal when 95% by weight or more of the ingredients in your final product are certified organic by one of the 120 so independent certifiers for the USDA. That's that other important. 5%, is it, yeah, sorry, go ahead. That, what I, I think is so important is that certification that's so educational to the public. And also, I, I think this is where there are problems between quality supplements and not high quality supplements. Uh, it, it may be tested and it may show, yes, there is a certain form of magnesium or zinc or calcium in there in the given amount that's on the label. But the type of the nutrient may not be the best utilized or the best absorbed. And that's where I think the consumer gets duped in thinking, oh, it's much less expensive to buy DL-alpha-E to coferol, DL uh, to coferol. It's cheaper when it's not, it's either not useful or it's 50% less useful. And there are many other examples of that. And, and the consumer can't be expected to be nutritional biochemists and reading right. the labels. So that's the importance of a quality company that knows which nutrients are better absorbed and better utilized. If you want to talk about that, I think that's important. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's funny because these these synthetics, um, I mean, there's synthetics that are pretty close mimickers to bioactive molecules in the body, and the body can convert them. And then there are synthetics that are way far off, and they're actually coming with 50% of their weight, a mirror image of that molecule, which isn't even active in the body. And these are sold as natural supplements. People, I'll go the natural way. I'll get, I'll get me my, like you said, DL alpha to coffrol, you know, but I'll get the cheap one and then they don't have efficacy. And, and that is something from the beginning as we started to make, uh, vitamins and the multivitamin products. Um, what is going to be the most active in the body? Well, food. Okay. So how do we get as close to the nutrients, the diversity of nutrients, the different biologically um, innate molecules that are in our food as we have always eaten as humans, you know, how do we put that into a supplement and have it be shelf-stable and have it be a certain label claim and have it be safe for human consumption and improve the person's health the best possible? And and so Garden of Life has always tried to either uh, convert these synthetic vitamins and industrial minerals back into food the way that it happens when you farm, but on a much quicker time scale, or now with My Kind Organics actually having the technology, the extraction technology to get those nutrients in all their diversity with all of their accompanying antioxidants and co-nutrients from plants. Those are the two ways that we create multivitamins now. Very important, and we're going to carry this discussion on in the next few segments. And for those of you that have just tuned in, I want to remind you, you're with the Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM. I'm Dana Lake, your host for the hour. We're brought to you by Village Green Apothecary. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. Solgar number no. 7 can help you feel the difference. Solgar number no. 7 actually shows improvement in joint comfort within 7 days. Now you can start to get back on track fast and pursue the activities you love. Solgar number no. 7 is a breakthrough in joint care with no glucosamine and no chondroitin. The advanced bioactives in Solgar number no. 7 help to increase flexibility, mobility, and range of motion within 7 days. One capsule once a day is all you need. When stiff joints occasionally say no, Solgar number no. 7 says yes. Solgar number no. 7 Available at Village Green Apothecary. 
New from Garden of Life, Kind Organics Whole Food Multivitamins. They are the only USDA certified organic, non-GMO verified whole food multivitamins available. They're gluten-free, certified vegan, and feature a patent-pending clean tablet technology. Kind Organics is super clean, untreated, unadulterated, and real whole food. Kind Organics Multivitamins from Garden of Life. Be kind to your body and the earth. Kind Organics, now available at Village Green Apothecary and online at myvillagegreen.com. Do you have unique needs that a mass market pharmacy can't meet? Village Green Apothecary can help. Maybe your doctor prescribed a special compounded formula or you have concerns about allergies or dietary supplements. Our expert team includes pharmacists, nutritionists, clinical herbalists, and naturopaths who can offer you advice on nutritional products and personalized healthy living plans. We also offer specialized lab and micronutrient testing to our customers. Visit Village Green in Bethesda at 5415 West Cedar Lane. Call us at 301 530 or go to our website at myvillagegreen.com. Staying mentally sharp means nourishing the mind as well as the body. That's why there's new Cognisure from Metagenics. Research shows that the active natural ingredient in Cognisure supports multiple mechanisms necessary for maintaining healthy cognition and a healthy brain as it ages. Cognisure is also easy to take in delicious, chewable chocolate tablets. Have a clear and bright future by maintaining mental capacity with healthy habits and Cognisure. Remember, Cognisure for health brain aging support available through your health care professional and village green apothecary have you ever wondered why the cold and flu season occurs in the fall and winter months one theory is because of a decrease in sun exposure our bodies don't make enough vitamin d which is essential to proper immune function that's why medical experts recommend supplementing with vitamin d thorn research's vitamin d products are made from pure vitamin d with no preservatives or unnecessary ingredients added Support your immune system with Thorne's Vitamin D1000 and D5000. These and other immune-supporting formulas are always available at Village Green. Welcome back, listeners, to the third segment of The Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM, brought to you by Village Green Apothecary at 5415 West Cedar Lane in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm Dana Lake, and I alternate the show with Dr. Kevin Passaro. We're here every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and a reminder that Kevin's going to be discussing epigenetics next Sunday. Now, today our guest is Amber Lynn Vizzi, and she's a certified nutritionist in integrative nutrition. Our subject covers some of the new supplements from Garden of Life, and we were talking about the quality of the Garden of Life products, that they go above and beyond the GMP uh, regulations for supplement production, which is a pharmaceutical standard. So uh, we talked about the quality, organic, not using their non-GMOs, and they're not altered. And uh, we can keep going on that subject, Amber. Could you talk a little bit more about the quality and then uh, some of the new products? I think that's of great interest. Excellent. Right. So with uh, with the GMPs, you're right, that's a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical standards, so good manufacturing practices where you have to lay out how you're going to make something. It has to be up to standard and you have to keep up that standard, even down to how often are you mopping the floor in the area where something is being produced that, you know, is is recorded. Um, But it doesn't cover, like you said, what compound, what is it just ascorbic acid or is it a whole compound of vitamin C? Is it just folic acid or is it activated folate, one, many of the nine forms that exist in foods, you know, so this is something that's up each company to create a product that is more active in the human body, more like what nature creates in food, more available um, to the cells of more people. You know, things getting absorbed from your digestive tract is one aspect of utilizing nutrients, but then they have to get into the tissues that they're directed toward. And that is where a lot of us lose our nutrients because they can get in the bloodstream quickly, but if they're not in the form that the body is going to be able to use, they may be eliminated through the kidneys before you even get to use them. And if it can't get out of the gut into the bloodstream, then it's going to be eliminated in the gastrointestinal tract before it ever gets absorbed. So there is a balance. And we definitely employ the scientific understanding of which nutrients go together, which things need to be separate, 
um, what form they come in in foods. And in the My Kind Organics, it was our first opportunity in the industry to create an entirely USD organic certified multivitamin that comes from plants. And I, I think it's still shocking to people that that hasn't been the case. There are multivitamin formulas with food in them, but to actually get all of the nutrients from plants is highly unique and brand new. And it, it, occurred because of a wonderful company run by wonderful people in India, in the Bangalore area of the Karnataka region of India, um, called Or Genetics, O-R-G-E-N-E-T-I-C-S, where they farm biodynamically and under USDA organic certification, and they harvest by hand, and they extract using only water. Um, And these scientists have created patents for water extraction instead of petroleum solvent extraction and instead of even alcohol extraction, which could be used in a more natural supplement but still has to be, you know, eliminated from the final dry product. So using water, their first goal was economic. If we use water, we don't have to eliminate the solvent from the end product, right? right? But then they realized that they could actually create such a much higher quality product because now it can come under organic certification and that's going to change agriculture. That's going to change farming. That's going to change the demand for more organic agriculture. And I never like to use the word uber organic, but biodynamic farming along with organic certification is the optimum because you're re-nourishing the soil constantly and in order to get the kinds of nutrients from the plants that we get in these water extractions from my kind, you have to have all those nutrients in the soil. Trace minerals coming from Moringa and coming along with all of the other plants as well. The B vitamins present in sesbania and holy basil and guava and lemon and lemon peel. The high levels of vitamin C compound in the omla berry, for example, iron in curry. And it only grows in curry that's grown a certain way. You don't get iron in all curry. You only get it in curry grown under certain circumstances in companion planting with specific trees. So it's very complex. It's very detailed. It's salt of the earth along with extremely high-tech, all the best analytical equipment to find out exactly what the nutrient content is in the plant, the raw material, to find out if you can achieve that level of potency in the hot water extraction before going to evaporation and spray drying, to test for purity, no microbial contamination. You have to be testing for botanical ID all the way. You don't want to be trying to extract iron from curry when you've got sesbania leaf in there, and you would think that they would know, but things happen, so it's important every step of the way to have the documentation on botanical ID and know that you've got the right botanical. And then the final product is tested to be 100% pure omelet powder, 100% pure sesbania, holy basil, guava, lemon powder, 100% pure curry leaf powder. So it is standardized the way that our herbal extracts are standardized to certain compounds like turmeric to curcuminoids, ashwagandha to ethanolides, rosmarinic acid, this kind of a thing. But the standardization is to the nutrients. Carrying along with it all those wonderful polyphenols, other antioxidants that each individual plant harbors. So it's, those are the cofactors. I call these friendly supplements because they're, they're as close as possible to what the body recognizes and does well with. Exactly, exactly. And in each vitamin, especially B vitamins are a great example, there is not one B6, there is not one B12, there is not one folate. There are multiples, and this is not something I expect any of our, you know, just average layperson consumer to understand. It's definitely a biochemical understanding, but when we buy a just a basic GMP, U.S. Pharmacopoeia synthesized, Vitamin, it's it's one type. A higher quality practitioner grade or some of the supplements like Life Extension, for example, will have 
maybe a couple of different types that are more bioactive. But when you get it from the food directly, you have all those different paradoxal B6 groups. You have all those different folates. You have all of those different riboflavins and thiamines. And that is recognizable by your body's cells as something it can utilize. And it doesn't have to waste as much energy converting. It doesn't have to waste energy detoxifying and will retain more of those nutrients without excreting them through the gastrointestinal tract or the kidney. I, I think that's so important. Uh, and also, I know you pay attention to nutrient synergisms and nutrient antagonisms in the products you create. Can you talk about that as well? Right. So, for example, the My Kind Organic Plant Iron with Herbs is a curry leaf sourced iron, so a plant iron like you would get from spinach. But it has been extracted, which would be like wilting spinach, which is a better way to get iron out of it. And it is combined with vitamin C from amla berry, which is the best way to absorb plant-derived iron so that everything is working in synergy. And then B6 and B12 in there as well for red blood cell formation, um, having the right shape of the red blood cell to put that iron, the heme molecule in it, and have it be active in the body. Um, in the multivitamins, people ask us all the time, why don't you have calcium in here? And number one, if you want your larger, more bulky minerals like calcium and magnesium in your daily multivitamin, you're going to need to take a handful of them. They're, they're very bulky. Number two, if your multivitamin has something like iron in it, you don't want high levels of calcium. You want to take those high levels of calcium at another time because there's a conflict uh, for absorption. So when we're supplementing something at a high level, like people who have are struggling with bone density or aging or they are repairing a bone or kids that are growing and they need higher levels of calcium and magnesium, for example, that is a separate supplement taken at a different time than your multivitamin. And again, you know, this is all, this is why we spend so much time on education. You know, we have to get in front of our retailers, the staff at the stores, and we have to get in front of the consumers to educate them on these things that I wish we were all just learning in school. You know, I just wish we all learned, you know, what is a milligram versus a gram versus a microgram? You know, what are these weights? And then let's learn about our bodies. Let's learn how we utilize nutrients. Let's learn what foods contain these nutrients. Why do you have to eat vegetables? Why did grandma always make me? It's not just because she said so. You know, it's because there's nutrients in there you can't get elsewhere. There's fibers and antioxidants. Now we know that our microbiomes consume those those constituents of vegetables and it's information for them. And with that information, they make signals, and they signal the cells of our bodies to do beneficial things. And it's a whole symphony, and it is very elegant. I think Tierra on a low dog recently described it, you know, the, eloquent, the elegance of the microbiome. You know, it's, it's very elegant. It is a dance. It's truly phenomenal. So when we source from food, uh, we are benefiting from that communication. We absolutely are, and we do talk about the microbiome so frequently on the show. And at first I thought we were overdoing it, but I'm of the opinion it can't be overdone because of this importance. And uh, what we'll do is talk more about the Garden of Life products. I think we've learned a lot, and we can get more specific in the final segment And for those of you who have just tuned in, you're with the Essentials of Healthy Living. I'm your host for the hour. I'm Dana Lake. And we're brought to you by Village Green Apothecary. Please stay with us. We'll be right back after this brief break. Mega Food Premium Whole Food Supplements are the only supplements crafted from scratch with farm fresh whole foods to deliver nourishment the way nature intended. Mega Food believes Mother Nature knows best. They select only fresh whole food, harvested at the peak of ripeness, handle it gently and with care to deliver its vital essence to you in every bottle. Mega Food, from farm to tablet, our name is our promise. For more information, visit us online at megafood.com. 
Bridging the gap between nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals. That's the concept behind Zymogen's new exclusive and patented line of formulations, which utilize sophisticated delivery technologies to focus on specific molecular targets. The Zymogen EP line features Immunitix 3.6, a potent ingredient that has demonstrated a measurable ability to prime and enhance immune cell function. Applications include immune system support and support for white blood cell recovery following radiation therapy and other bone marrow affecting treatments. Now available at Village Green Apothecary and online at myvillagegreen.com. All over the world, people are beginning to discover fish oil is one of the best secrets for unlocking great health. Thousands of studies have shown the amazing effects of these powerful omega-3s for heart health. Plus, fish oils have even been shown to balance moods and lessen anxiety. With exceptional taste, unrivaled freshness, and unsurpassed purity, Nordic Naturals is the easy way to get your omega-3s every day. To learn more, visit Village Green Apothecary or visit nordicnaturals.com. Nordic Naturals, committed to the planet, committed to pure and great-tasting omega oils. Did you get enough lutein today to support eye health? Most Americans consume only 2 milligrams per day, yet populations with good eye health often consume 6 to 20 milligrams to protect the macula of the eye against oxidative stress and aging. Vision Optimizer from Gero Formula supplies lutein, zeaxanthin, and 13 other vitamins, phytonutrients, and herbs that support eye health and function, reduce eye fatigue, and promote eye comfort. For more information, visit Gero.com. Gero Formulas, available at Village Green Apothecary. Do you have unique needs that a mass market pharmacy can't meet? Village Green Apothecary can help. Maybe your doctor prescribed a special compounded formula or you have concerns about allergies or dietary supplements. Our expert team includes pharmacists, nutritionists, clinical herbalists, and naturopaths who can offer you advice on nutritional products and personalized healthy living plans. We also offer specialized lab and micronutrient testing to our customers. Visit Village Green in Bethesda at 5415 West Cedar Lane. Call us at 301 301- 530-0800 or go to our website at myvillagegreen.com. Welcome back, listeners, to today's final segment of the Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM, brought to you by Village Green Apothecary at 5415 West Cedar Lane in Bethesda. You can also get a lot of information by going online to myvillagegreen.com. That's myvillagegreen.com. And we have been talking with Amber Lynn Vizzi, a certified nutritionist in integrative nutrition. And our subject covers some of the new supplements from the Garden of Life. We've talked about the quality of supplements, the importance of the way they're manufactured, the plants that they're extracted from. I think she gave us such an exceptional background. And now we're going to talk about the products themselves And I want to remind people, we talked about supplements, and we say this, but I think it's an important reminder. The dietary reference intakes, the recommended dietary allowances, all these recommendations from the National Academy's Institute of Medicine are sufficient to meet the nutritional requirements of 98% of healthy individuals. And the statistical breakdown tells us that only 24% of the population is healthy and therefore the RDAs, DRIs do not apply to 76% of the population who have acute and or chronic conditions, take medications, and to those with developmental delays, gene variances, and various nutritional deficiencies. That is why supplementation is important. The risk-benefit, very low risk of cause of death or harm from supplements, 0.0001% risk of death. Pharmaceuticals have a very high, uh, high death risk. So it's very, very different. They're regulated homeostatically. Having said that, uh, Amber, please go into some of the products. Uh, that's so interesting statistics. I would love to compare the risk of death by supplement to the risk of death by eating food, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or fast food. Yeah, like, very good. <laughs> yeah, fast food, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, and then, you know, the, the, the fact also is that our food supply is deficient in nutrients. It's gone down by 50% since the 1960s when they started 
you know, recording yes. that and taking a yes. look at that. So that that is enough. Even when we eat well, and I eat very well, so I often say, why do I supplement? But this, this is why I feel optimized when I supplement, especially with food sourced vitamins. And so the My Kind line provides you that. You have the multivitamins for the different age groups. You have the prenatals. We have the B12 spray, the D3 spray, the C spray, D3 chewables, B complex, a plant, iron, and herbs. And so that's the basic line, you know, providing a lot of necessary nutrients for people who need to optimize their diet and lifestyle. And for those that, you know, are truly not healthy individuals and need that extra supplementation in order to achieve even a, a, a basic standard of health. And so what we've done recently is take all these wonderful ingredients that are derived truly from plants and put them in a gummy vitamin. And it's funny because, you know, gummies are a snack, right? I mean, a gummy is a gummy. And when it comes to kids, that is how we get stuff into them. But as adults, it's, it's a choice. But we made gummies for adults because when we did the market research, we found out that aside from adult coloring books for meditation and um, what was the other thing? I'm trying to remember, it just left my mind. Anyway, there's, a, there's, a, there's one other thing, but adult gummies are something that grown-ups are actually wanting to utilize a lot more than I would have expected as a, as a nutritionist. But a lot of people don't want to swallow a pill. They don't want to swallow a tablet or a capsule. So we said, how can we maintain the integrity of these MyKind vitamins but put them in a what I call a candy, but have it be as nutritionally sound as possible? So these wonderful vitamins and minerals are put into basically what is grandmother's old-fashioned fruit leather. It's apples and peaches that have been pureed and slow-cooked down, and the pectin has been added to the juice from the apples. And the MyKind vitamins have been incorporated into it, and they're made in Germany because that's the only place that we could find that would not, that would agree to not use cornstarch in the molds to keep these gummies from sticking when they're cooling. They created a metal mold with a ceramic coating like a Le Creuset, you know, cookware set. And they coat them with organic sunflower oil, and they cool the gummies in their proper shape and then pop them out and dust them with organic rice meal to try to keep them from sticking in the bottle. But to be honest, it's food. And that's what I want to say about Olive Garden of Life products. The powder you put in the liquid, you've got to keep swirling it and drink it. The gummies, you leave them in the car and the warmth are going to stick together. They're food. They're like a cliff twist fruit bar or a stretch island fruit leather. They are actually pureed fruit. All the sugar in there comes from the apples and the peaches. The fiber comes from the apples, the peaches, the pectin, and the tapioca fiber, and the vitamins, and that's it. That's all that is in there. So it's an actual four gummy serving fruit snack with my kind vitamins in it at the adult dose, at the kids' dose, and at the prenatal dose. Wonderful. So you've got the variety. I always remind people that you need a multiple for age, stage, and gender. And nice. <laughs> that's, that's what you've accomplished there. Talk to us about some of the other products. Well, what's interesting is I just make a leap. I'm talking about an organic, vegan, non-GMO project verified multivitamin that comes from plants. And then we sort of made this jump. I think, you know, some of our fans view us as a vegan company, we're not. We just know that most people need a lot more plants in their life. Um, And we've been working on whey protein from cow's milk for quite some time, trying to establish a supply chain that we consider truly grass-fed. As you know, Dana, the term grass-fed doesn't really mean anything when it's written on a label. And there's not really a standard for it. There's the American Grass-Fed Association. Not many products even use that feel. And that only calls for 120 days a year on pasture. What we discovered in Ireland and in Crescent City area of Northern California were farmers that can provide whey protein from milk from cows that are on grass 300 days a year and only come off of grass to give birth to their calves or if the weather is truly inclement. And so we're getting a an animal protein from animals that are very well treated. They're on between one to two acres of land per animal. They're kept very healthy. They get to 
lay in the grass, eat in the grass, they're grazing in grass up to their cow armpits. You know, it's really incredible. And the product is so minimally processed that our company is so excited about it. Our product development team just feels like this is maybe one of the most sustainable things that we've ever produced because of the systems it's coming from. So the whey protein in the sport line is an isolate for sport applications and quick digestion to get to the muscle, and it comes from Ireland, and it's basically the whey from the milk that is turned into Kerrygold butter. And a lot of us are very familiar with the bright yellow color, all the CLAs, omega-3s that are in that butter. And then the way that is coming out soon at the end of August is organic from Crescent City area of California, also over 300 days a year grass-fed and organic certified and domestic and has all those wonderful immunoglobulins that you get from a minimally processed product for people who love, you know, that taste and the immune enhancement that they get in their gastrointestinal tract from that kind of a product. Plus, it contains a little bit of that fat and the conjugated linoleic acid and omega-3s we get from that. And it becomes extremely important when we're concentrating food products, whether they're plants or animal products like dairy products, that you start with something with no pesticides, no insecticides, no herbicides, no fungicides, that you're not using any crazy chemicals in the processing, that you're maintaining the nutrients as best you can while providing a shelf-stable product free of microbial contamination. We only want the microbes in there that we put in there, and we always put probiotics into our products because they help you utilize the nutrients and create the right acidity at the lining of the gut to absorb those nutrients. Yes, that's uh, that's excellent, and that makes a huge difference in absorption and then utilization, which you mentioned and described so very well. Well, I think we've learned a lot from you, and I want to thank you for being on the show with us, Amber. Uh, We always enjoy our conversations, and we look forward to you returning with more updates. So, again, we thank you for this good information and the clinical pearls. Dana, thank you so much for the opportunity. Appreciate you. Good. And also, I want to remind you, listeners, that Dr. Joseph Pizzorno's new book, The Toxin Solution, How Hidden Poisons in the Air, Water, Food, and Products We Use Are Destroying Our Health and What We Can Do About It. Uh, it's important. It's a wonderful book. And he is such an expert in this. Uh, he was a founder of a naturopathic medicine college and his expertise is well known and by the way this book has strong endorsements from many leading health experts including dr mark hyman dr james gordon dr jeffrey bland dr david perlmutter dr stephen masley dr michael murray and jj virgin you've heard from most of these people on our show and so it's important Take a look at it. It's written by Dr. Joseph Pizzarno, The Toxin Solution. Very important. And I want to thank you, listeners, for joining us on The Essentials of Healthy Living on 1500 AM. You can access this show or any show through myvillagegreen.com. And please remember, it's not the number of breaths you take. It's the moments that take your breath away. This is Dana Lake and Village Green wishing each and every one of you good health and a breathtaking day. Ah, the joy of commuting in Washington. Whether you work on the hill or outside the beltway, you know how stressful it is to get around. Stress can take a serious toll on your health and Village Green Apothecary can help. We offer over 10,000 healthy living products, including top quality nutritional supplements, herbal remedies, and more. Our nutritionists and pharmacists offer a personalized approach to help you with your health needs. Stop by Village Green Apothecary in Bethesda at 5415 West Cedar Lane or visit our website at myvillagegreen.com. For over 50 years, people have relied on Village Green Apothecary to give them individualized nutrition, pharmacy, and healthy living products. Village Green provides you with the kind of personalized help and attention that mass market pharmacies have long ago forgotten. You can depend on us for knowledge, experience, product selection, customer service, 
and a smile. Visit Village Green in Bethesda at 5415 West Cedar Lane or call us at 301-530-0800 or go to our website at myvillagegreen.com. We're here to help you. 